Well, it's the day after the first race of the year and things could have started better. What was it? First race of the year? Disaster? Was it? Or bittersweet? I don't know. I don't know how to take it really, but... We've got the new crates, courtesy of Charlie. They had the cocks flying out this morning, but there's a sparrow hawk knocking around, and so they flew out for about an hour. We're going to trial out the new pigeon training wagon. With the birds loaded, it was on to the five mile mark. Training 2023 underway. I've just let the cocks go, and we've got some hens left now. Oh. The cocks went a couple of minutes ago, and um, Karenza's going to be at the loft to let the cocks in because um, if I'm not there then they're all going to mess about outside and as soon as I let the hens go they'll get back and they'll jump in with the cocks and it'll be all over the place so well, hopefully they'll they'll head that way because I've just seen them heading north and that's not the way they want to be going but you know they are homing pigeons so you expect them to know where home is but yeah quite excited lovely day for it today I just hope we get back with no fatalities because I did let them out for a fly earlier just to take the fly out of them uh, they, they were uh, attacked by a sparrowhawk several times so it kept diving into them so uh, I think there's a lot of birds of prey out at the moment uh, and not many fledglings so they are particularly vulnerable I guess but these are yearlings now so they you think they know what to do um, looks like I beat the hens back yep right I'll get you some more food I didn't put all of it there just in case they came back in dribs and drabs. But, all right, we'll wait for the hens to arrive then. Oh, here we are. Look. That's not one of ours. Hello, buddy. That's a uh, yearling. Well, uh, just quickly letting the young birds out because they haven't been out all day. And it's, I'm about ready to put them on darkness, but I thought I'd let them have a little bit of time out. They're enjoying a nice evening fly. Not very uh, cohesive between them, they're all over the place aren't they, but I haven't fed them all day today so I imagine when I shake that um, food tin they'll come straight in, which is what we want. Incidentally when the hens came in, straight in and trapped really really quickly, so um, they were all in within a few seconds, so really good trapping, but obviously they're hungry. Um, yeah, good. morning right well it's friday although it looks nice and sunny now we're going to get a lot of rain uh, today so i'm going to let the birds out because i haven't managed to train them anywhere near as much as i wanted to this week um with the weather being a bit iffy and i've been really busy at work but the downside of this week or the last two weeks has been we've barely been able to get the birds out the young birds because um we're getting hit by a hawk every single time i let them out as soon as i let the sparrow hawk, uh, the birds out the sparrow hawks here um even the old birds have been uh, attacked by the sparrowhawk. As soon as they fly around in circles near the loft, you see it just popping up and trying to grab them. And a couple of them have come back with um, holes. Uh, one's got a hole in its chest, another one's got a hole in its wing. It's just impossible. And we lost one. Uh, it, uh, they were flying around and a flutter of wings went up and I couldn't see anything. They were scattered all over. Um, and I thought one had taken off or been got or chased. And then the next door neighbour came around the next day and said, um, yeah, there was a dead pigeon on the front. And unfortunately it was an S-ring, it's one of Archie's um, from Ryan, not Brian, one of the ones that we bred. Um, so really, you know, it's one of those things. Um, but you just spend the next two, three days, off, they've been locked up. Uh, I let them out briefly for a couple of minutes yesterday. I knew they were hungry so I could get them straight in. So I let them out, they flew and then I shook the tin, got them straight back in again. And that might be what we have to do until the end of April. Um, but it is so, so disheartening. Um, because where we are in this village, uh, as soon as they're out, it's like a beacon. As soon as the pigeons are out, it's like, hey, come attack us, because we're here, you know. Or as soon as the birds are up there, flying around the, the house and the garden and the village, uh, wherever it is, it will see them and it will come straight in and, and, and kill them. And the thing is, it's a bit weird because you end up torturing yourself over it because you think it's caught it and it, it's you know, baby pigeon that's, what, two months old, something like that, and it's on its back, and you can't even see it. I'd have been stood on the garden, getting the others in, and it would have been round the front of there, just being chewed on and ripped to pieces, and it's just, oh. So they're not in um, any decline, or in any danger of any decline, which is good for um, 
the ecosystem I guess but it's just bad for if you um, if you race pigeons so we'll let them out now and I just want to get them a, a little bit of exercise because I haven't I've managed to get them 12 miles that's as far as I've got and we've got this race that's um, 50 odd miles I think it is come on he's always trying to get to the head of the um, so yeah we've got a 50 I think it's 50 or 60 miles it's not far it's Harrogate it's more of like a warm-up race really just getting them used to getting in the basket again uh, but in half an hour we'll let them out and we'll let the hens out and then uh, get them fed up ready for ready for the race tomorrow uh, here's the rubbish rain horrible weather um, it's meant to be much better tomorrow so I've got all the birds basketed up. We've got uh, nine hens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hens, and uh, 12 cocks. And uh, I've tried a version of Widowhood, whether it's worked or not, I don't know, um, because I don't have fronts on all of the nest boxes. Um, so we've, we've done it with the ones that we can, and the others sort of ran them off. Um, but with the weather being it's northerly, so the weather wind will be behind them. Um, slight east in the wind, so not doesn't really favour us that much. But it's not a, it's not much of a wind, so we'll see how we get on anyway. Some of the birds actually feel quite good. Um, the, the, there's, there's probably five or six that feel pretty, you know, not too heavy, not too light, but uh, you know, just feel quite strong and they're a bit feisty. And then there's some that aren't so much. So, you know. I think some are in, in, in shape and others aren't, but yeah, we're going to tell, I'm waiting for sure, my brother's going to come and uh, help, um, I say help, he's just going to come and, I just think he just wants to uh, come along for a pint, but um, he'll be coming along, and then uh, when he gets here we'll head over to the club, uh, get these basketed, and, um, and have a pint afterwards, and then tomorrow morning it will be sunshine, hopefully, and uh, we'll record the race and see how we get on. Sunshine for race day had been predicted all week. Instead I, like every other fancier, excitedly rushing down their breakfast and cup of tea, stepped out to a blanket of thick cloud covering the entire country. It was forecast to clear up though, so I took the opportunity to do my favourite job, tidying up. <coughs> Tidy up for the birds, shall we? Everywhere's a mess, Rufus. Everywhere's a mess. Right, who's hungry? Hungry? Still got two chicks left in the nest. They are 1983's offspring um, and 1998. So um, uh, the, the, you can see they're hungry. They haven't got much food in their crop. So I've fed these. I'm feeding these now. She will feed the two. They're about ready to be weaned off in a, another few days. I've got this one ready, so I just dropped that down. I had a bit of a scrape out, so I've scraped out the hens. Uh, I've just got to scrape out the, the cock side. And then we're going to be ready to go. I've had my bacon sandwich. I've had a couple of cu cups of coffee. But yeah, you can see. It's just uh, full overcast at the moment. Uh, I did see a little glimpse of blue. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Tiny little bit there, but um, it looks like it, they're either going to have to go early from Harrogate, because I think it's a little bit of sunshine now, um, and then it's going to be clouding over, according to the forecast, until about midday. So it might well be that they, we don't get the birds uh, away until the afternoon, which may suit us, because the Up North Combine are liberating from workshop and uh, I think there's some of us liberated from Retford, which are just a, a, up the road from us. Um, so it'd be good if, uh, if they don't end up uh, clashing, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Shit. Pigeon 
So I had the enviable task of scraping out what looked like a giant collection of old toenail fluff. Yum. Hi, right, Colin. I did, yes, cheers. Yeah. Saved by the bell, I received a call from a fancier racing on the south road and he confirmed they were also waiting for the cloud to clear so they could liberate into what looked certain to be a very busy sky. Oh, my God. It's sunshine. Sunshine coming through there, isn't it? 10 o'clock. Still cloud everywhere else, though. Unfortunately. Hopefully that'll burn through. But for now, it's a waiting game. So I waited. And I waited. And waited. Right, so it's half past 11 and the sun's really coming through now, as you can see. It's cleared up beautiful. Still an easterly wind, but uh, that's fine by us. I just thought I'd show you what we're doing. So I've put the three birds that I haven't sent, obviously the uh, fantail doesn't get sent to the races, uh, and I've just kept them, I've blocked them off from going into the loft so that I can keep the bob wires open. Um, and that means that when the birds get here, I used to have a bigger um, shelf here for them, but this seems fine, uh, adequate. I keep the bob wires open so there's no way that they are... Um, there's little, no obstacles really for them to get in so they'll land and hopefully go straight in for the first few um, and then the pads are under there on the inside so right so I've just had a call from uh, John he says they lived at 20 past 12 so uh, should be here within the hour so I'm going to turn on my clock anyways make sure everything's running right we won't be uh, clocking any good times today and it's a northeasterly wind so they're just basically going to get pushed over that side and imagine they'll go Workshop Clipston or Workshop Edwinstow work their way around a bit like a, a backwards J to us um, potentially so uh, but just hopefully they'll get them all back so with my excuses all prepared I invited Charlie who bred half of my young bird team last year but has since retired from racing over to watch the birds come home all right almost an hour and it's 57 miles about 57 miles to us if the clouds are moving north east north east that means it's a northwesterly a southwesterly wind yes so it's a bit of a southwesterly on the are they <laughs> we can't so none of us can agree so we can't agree on which way the clouds are going. <laughs> I think it's going southwest. Charlie thinks they're going northwest. Charlie thinks they're going northeast. And the strange wind may be the cause of the race we were about to have. 24. Here we are. Two, come from north. The first birds arrive at 24 minutes past, but they looked unusually nervous. I bet one of them isn't ours, you know. Circling, I think one of them might not be ours. Where they gone? We were losing time, and the more they circled, the further down the race standings we'd fall. Sparrow up knocking about because all the birds, songbirds have gone up. Yeah, all the. I kept trying and trying, but they just didn't want to come down. 25. Come on. Twenty twelve 
93. Come from the north, yeah. 2012, which is one of yours, and one of Mitchell's. 2012. 2012. It's one of your birds. No, 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 no. The bird number. 2012. Oh, no. That's yours. Yeah. They came at 24, but they didn't get until 25, so lost a bit of time. Right, you sit still. They're a bit spooked, aren't they? That might be 83, Charlie. They're a bit nervous, aren't they? I wonder if they've had a, a peregrine attack or something, a bit nervous. That's 83, is it? Nineteen eighty three, Charlie. She's been in the top three. Nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three. Eighty three. Eighty three. I should explain Charlie forgot his hearing aid, which made for some entertaining conversations. She's been in the top ten though in the last No, she wasn't in the first race, she wasn't, but since then she's been in the top top three. She was second on the last race at the Fed. So, uh, 12 minutes since the first one came, or the first two came, and we've only had three out of 22 so far. Not I ideal, really. I'd have liked a few more. I just saw them fly by. They were going quick. That's not ours. One of them's not ours. Yeah, that one with, with the white, light, white wings, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. 1985. What number is that one? 1985. One of yours. Eh? One of yours. What number? 1985. 85. Yeah, it's all Charlie's birds today. Three. Is it cold? <laughs> so we've got three of Charlie's birds back, one of Mitchell's, and. What was the other one? So we've only got four so far, haven't we? 2012, 83, 85. That's Straggler up there, isn't it? Ours. And, um, and Mitchell's. Yeah. They did, they come quick though. Is that the wood line? It is, yeah, it's where they're from. Cock. After nearly two hours, we'd had only a handful of birds, so I handed the race into Archie and sat down for a cuppa and tried to work out why they were coming in ones. Yours again. That one. 2011. 2011. 11. Well, I'm glad I've got 83 back and I'm glad I've got 2011 back. I can't do Widowwood really if I'm racing the end as well. You part them all, like, after I parted today. them. I will part them again today. Yeah, tonight. Uh, yeah. I put them all, I put them, I did Widowwood with some. So I put the hens in some boxes and let the cocks see them. Yeah. Well, a little update. It's uh, now nearly three o'clock, five to three. I've got to get back to, um, got to go to the club and do the clocks. And we've only got 12, oh, 10 birds back, so it's still 12 missing. Hopefully they'll um, come while I'm at the club uh, getting the times, but not a great day really. Um, we'll review it, I guess, at the end and see how we got on. And as if by magic, uh, there we go, we've done. So, not too bad actually. Turns out we got um, second in the club. You got to ignore, ignore number one uh, because there was an extra 600, uh, sorry, 500 miles um, typed into that one. So the velocity is 12,442. So there's a bit of a typo there. So um, it's actually uh, second and third place that we got there with those first two birds. Um, not too bad. That's a velocity of 1488 and the winning was 1502. So. Uh, well done Malcolm and um, yeah I think I mean, we might have been in with a shout you don't know how uh, theirs trapped or how his bird trapped but I think if we'd have uh, had been a bit better with getting the birds in those first two in then we might have been in with a shout of winning the club but oh, I'll, I'll take it now I'm eating while I'm, uh, I'm absolutely starving I haven't, had, I haven't had anything to eat today 
Just pop a bacon sandwich. And some peanut butter on toast. And some seven or eight biscuits. Um, let's see if we've got any birds back, shall we? Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we've got more back. Let me count that again. So Darlo 94 is back, which is the Fed winner from uh, the last race of the Youngbird season. 1983 is back, that came third today. Um, I think she finished 10th in club or something like that. Um, she was, she's the most consistent bird, and also 2011. Look how wonky my wall is there, that's terrible. Yeah, that's got worse, but I didn't do a very good job of building this wall. By the time we got to the, do the uh, clocks, everybody other than one member was missing 50% of their birds at least so we only got half back by the time within two hours um but now we've got an extra so we're still i think we're still seven i think we're still missing seven um but i'll do another tally up just to make sure and then uh i'll get i'll get back on it and then we let go basically four hours ago 56 miles away so this should this should have come straight back but everybody pretty much in the country let go at the same time um so it could have been that it could have been there's a hell of a lot of sparrow hawks and falcons and all sorts knocking around so that could have been an issue um the wind i wouldn't have said would have been an issue because it was very very mild but it was a northeasterly i think easterly northeasterly i don't know if i got that but just sat watching uh manny pigeon's latest video because uh, the race is pretty was done and um then white tips just turned up <laughs> gone straight into the cock section so that's good so we're one hen missing now right so i'll tell you where we are we've now got one hen missing and four cocks so we're five birds down out of 22 so far and it's been five and a half hours since they lived so hopefully we've still got another two or three hours of daylight so we might get them back in um i've just watched the video back because um uh, Malcolm, who, who won the uh, came first in the club. Uh, I think they said these bird came in pretty quick. The first one clocked well, and the second one went around a couple of times. So I just watched to see how many. Uh, I know I lost a bit of time, and I just uh, uh, looked, and I think it was like a minute and eight. If we'd have got ours in within, uh, I think we, I think we'd lost forty seconds on him. Um, so if ours had trapped better, I mean you can always say that if they trapped better, but it does go to show. I mean every time I've done it, I've gone, ah, you know, it's all right, we get them back, but. Then you end up losing by, I think it was 40 seconds. I say we lost, we came second by 40 seconds. A minute and eight seconds to uh, to get those birds trapped. Which, considering they're yearlings and um, it's the first race, um, I don't think it was too bad, really. Um, I mean, I'm happy with it for sure. I didn't expect it at all. But you always go like, oh, what could I have done? So, um, but yeah, anyway, it's a good sign uh, for us. And we're only a few missing now. So we're one bird out of this lot. And then in here, We've got, this guy's just turned up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're nine uh, cocks in here. The fantail I am going to use for the next race, but she's still breed, uh, rearing these two up. And I've sent the cock bird off to the race and uh, we've got a sparrowhawk knocking around. So if we didn't get that cock bird back and she got uh, attacked by the sparrowhawk, which is gonna happen, um, I don't really want to use her until the hen goes down on the uh, on the nest. So as soon as I stop seeing her, which will hopefully be the next week, I'll uh, start using the fantail to get those early birds down sooner. Um, whether it will work, I don't know. I hope it will. I think it will. Um, they were a little bit, you know, nervous about coming in, but that's it. I've got what one percent battery left, so I've used uh, a hell of a lot. Hello. Anybody else back? Someone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm not sure what's happened, but we had um, the birds liberated about midday, just after midday, and the weather was fine by that point. It cleared up somewhat, a lot of blue sky, a little bit of a tailwind to the east, and uh, the first birds arrived good first two birds were quick the, the third bird 1983 which is always in the top three finishers uh, on my loft in my loft she's always first back good homing instinct actually 1983 charlie's angel um and, and i've managed to get a second round out of her but the rest of them just kept coming in ones and twos for the next five hours not sure what happened 
don't know.